Welcome to our Designing with TPE series, where we will expand on the Shore double lot and triple lot hardness scales. In our measuring hardness video, we explain how Albert Shore developed the technique, how the scales compare, and how the testing method works. If you missed that video, we left a link for you below. Today, we will cover how the testing method works. We will also show you how some of our most popular soft TPE materials do when put to the test. Then, we will demonstrate what that means with some more familiar items. Soft gel TPEs fall in the range of short double lot and triple lot scales. These types of products include seat cushions, shoe inserts, surgical positioners to help doctors get patients in the correct position prior to surgery, and medical and dental training models, as well as prosthetic cushions. These products use the soft gel quality of TPEs to increase comfort and decrease stress and tension. They also take advantage of its ability to be easily molded into unique, detailed, and even lifelike products. Here at Star Thermoplastics, we follow the ASTM D2240 standard testing method for rubber property. The testing is done by placing the durometer onto a sample of material and then pressing down to get a reading on the scale. Inside the durometer is where the magic happens. A small spring is used to push a little metal indenter into the surface of the material sample, and it measures how far the indenter penetrates the material. It's important to note that the indenter that is used in the durometer varies by scale. In our case, the Shore double lot would have a blunt point. On the other hand, the Shore D durometer will have a sharp point on the indenter pin, and the Shore A indenter tip would fall somewhere in the middle. We're going to show you a typical testing method for thermoplastic elastomers. We can take an instant hardness or a 10 second hardness. This can be done with both a handheld or stand durometer. For our double lot materials, we will be using a stand durometer and for our triple lot, a handheld durometer. In compliance with the testing method, we will use a material that is at least a quarter of an inch thick and place it on a smooth surface. If the material is not thick enough, it can be doubled or tripled in order to achieve the necessary thickness. The material is placed on the countertop and then the durometer is pressed into the material to get a reading. All of our demonstrations will be on the Shore double and triple lot scales. This gel TBE has a hardness of 31 double lot. For comparison, we will also measure it on the triple lot scale, where it shows a durometer reading of 53 triple lot. One of our softest materials, which we test with a handheld durometer, Starflex 7S 335 1000, when tested is a 25 on the Shore triple lot scale. Now let's have a little fun testing some items found in our day-to-day -day lives. Some examples being mozzarella cheese, gummy bears, bicycle gel seats, and chewing gum. I will demonstrate the various hardnesses of these materials with both the double and triple lot scales. We will start with a bicycle seat that riders use to ease soreness from long rides. The durometer is about a 36 double lot. Time for some soft and chewy gummy bears. The durometer of the sweet gummy bears is a 49 double lot. Mozzarella cheese is known for its softness and we will test it on the triple lot scale. This has a durometer of 37 triple lot. Chewing gum, whether minty or fruity, gets softer the more it's chewed, but as the flavor decreases, so does its elasticity. The durometer of the chewing gum is a 61 triple lot. If you would like to learn more about our materials, please visit our website at www.starthermoplastics.com and be sure to check out our other YouTube videos.